from level 52 to 67 smithing by smelting 5.3k mithril bars and then making them into mithril dot tip. It is so much experience because I wasn't even looking at smithing experience. I'm all about fletching XP at the moment and smithing is just like a, a bonus experience and it got me so many levels. I can't even make mithril darts. I need 52 fletching and I'm only 47. So how the hell am I supposed to get it up? If I'm fletching bows, I can't even like take maples from kingdom because my fletching is not even high to make short bows. I don't have any willow longbows. I actually found some logs from Winter Todd. I got like 300 of each, so it's not gonna be a problem. This pretty much means I need to go to Kingdom and definitely deposit some money because it's been a while since I've been here. I'm gonna put in 1 million because I'm probably gonna need some money for something. And now I'm gonna take away a little bit from Teak and I'm gonna put this on wood. Maybe a little bit more, yeah. I'm looking at around 1000 maples. I fuck. I knew this was too much. I don't need this many maple logs. I could have gotten some teaks instead. Okay, 53 fletching. Such a waste though. 1.5k maple logs just gonna be unused. Maybe I'm gonna use it in the future, but I feel like they're not gonna give me as much experience. So now I'm gonna hop on my touchscreen tablet and probably there will be no recording. So I'm gonna get to 69 fletching and I'll be back. And since everything was ready, I had 52,000 mithril darts that needed to be fletched. I moved to my touchscreen tablet because it's much easier to fletch. You know, there's no mouse movement. I zoomed in the tablet and this is how it looked like. And for the next only 22 minutes, that's how long it took. Not even joking. 22 minutes to fletch. I think it was 47,000 mithril darts because i fletched some as a test before uh, before i started counting time and experience an hour so it, it was extremely fast i thought I, I will have to do this for like an hour or something and then in the end i looked at the experience an hour how much i was getting it was 1.3 million by just using mithril darts 1.3 mil an hour and i gained like 500k experience i didn't even notice it and because my screen was so zoomed in, I didn't see a single level up message. So it kind of felt like I was botting because I was only 53 fletching and I just clicked for like 22 minutes or so. And then I lo looked at the screen at my stats, you know, and I had 70 fletching. It was insanely fast experience doing it this way, but I was not finished. I had what 69 or 70 fletching. I don't even remember, but I still needed to make some broad bolts because that's what it was all about. So I bought like 5,000 broad bolts. I fletched them on the touch screen again. What the hell? I saw these cows on the Reddit, but I thought they were photoshopped or something. It's, it's actually very nice. Very nice. It's in Christmas spirit. I had these for a very long time. I think I was doing Iron Dragon task or something and I just obtained it. So that was the only positive thing about that two hour long Slayer task that I had to do. And that is a Runite crossbow that I just made. I can use broad bolts as well as skill this man. It's gonna make tasks like Black Demons so much easier because I would have to range Black Demons. You know, it would take me like four hours to complete the task, even at level 77 range because of bone bolts. Okay, so since leveling up my fletching and getting that rune crossbow is out of the way now, I need to get the requirements for this hard clue scroll, which is an amulet of glory, which means I need a minimum of level 75 crafting to get it up. Now, I did spend the past 8 hours just uh, crafting cosmic runes and imbuing, how's it called, charging these are, but my rune crafting is almost 55, so I think 10,000 more pure essence, and I will be able to make double cosmics, which will be just so nice, you know? It's like spending two times less time to get the same amount of cosmic runes. And somebody told me if you kill these imps, you get party hats, because they are weirding them, but I killed like 10 of them. I never got one. I think someone trolled me and you cannot get them. Now this is gonna sound stupid, but I didn't know that each charter ship has its own stock. I thought if I buy from this guy, let's say some soda ash, every single charter ship will be bought out. I have no idea why I thought that. I didn't even do any research. I just thought, oh, it must be the case. 
So this one is clearly bought out, so I'm just thinking which one would be like the best to go. Like, let's just try out Karamja, because I think no one's going there, because there is no bank nearby, and I don't think it's that efficient to go in here. Uh, let's trade this guy, and you can see it's the same world, and it has 10, so it's full stock. Wait a second, there is a charter ship in Mosla Harmless? That seems to be extremely close to the bank, but it does have a big requirement, so maybe not that many people have it unlocked. And I think this is definitely gonna be better. Oh, that's actually... What is that? That is actually far away. I think it's pretty much the same as Ardoin. In one hour, just buying soda ash in this place is only just a little bit above 1k. I didn't buy anything else, no... No seaweed, no buckets of sand, just specifically soda ash. Okay, so I was just doing another test, I just finished another hour, but this time what I was doing is, I was buying these buckets of sand and either soda ash or some seaweed, and I was drinking this, because I still need to boost for this, but instantly making these into molten glass, and then filling the rest of the inventory with seaweed. So what? why this is so good is because one molten glass is actually two items, but it's compressed into one. It's soda ash plus a bucket of sand. So technically I'm bringing back like, uh, what, 14 extra items right now, just because I made them into molten glass. So let's see, one hour later, this is what I got. All of these seaweeds and molten glass. It's pretty much the same amount as soda ash, except that this is two in one, so it's extra 500 items, you could say. I don't even know if that, that is good. Anyway, eventually I decided to get my crafting off by crafting battle staves because it's just way more efficient. I already had orbs and I just waited for the correct time when it's no longer peak time so I can get those battle staves and, you know, getting money because I had like 200k left. I don't know how I have 5 mil one day and then I have nothing left so I have to make more of these. So now I have like 3 mil in the bank and 1k orbs as well. And I did hit that 75 crafting, which means now I can go and try to boost for Amulet of Glory and finally, you know, just complete that clue scroll. Okay, how many glories will I be able to make? Because I do have one cut dragon stone that I got from fire giants. Just like literally a cut dragon stone was laying on the floor. But how many key halves do I have? Oh, such imbalance. I only have two loops and like five teeth i think you can also get like rune play looks from this place so hopefully oh that's a good one and another one it yo oh, look at that huh look at that that's like the best one that you can get from the chest it, it is it's like 40k that you have for like 36k or something so my plan was to make three amulet of glories but since i only have a limited supply of these dragon stones at the moment you know if i ideally need to make like a combat bracelet for something i will not be able to make and i, I was just looking at runeski wikia and it seems there is just too many dragon stone items required for clue scrolls like just for elite you need two amulet of glories you need a dragon stone amulet you need also a dragon necklace nice it's called dragon necklace it's not called Dragonstone. I know they used to have a limit on how many characters you can have on an item. Then there's Amulet of Glory again and Ring of Wealth, you know. So I can't, I can't make all of these, okay? I can't. So I think I'll just, I'll just make three Amulet of Glories. I'm gonna have to mount one of them in my house and then just have two in my bank. This is such a beautiful sight because I thought that the only way I'm gonna get an Amulet of Glory is if I'm gonna get my Hunter up. It was always in my head. Like, if you don't get your hunter up, you're never gonna see that glory. And here it is. Dragonstone amulet, but I can enchant it right now. And we have amulet of glory. Oh my god. Okay, now it's gonna be a big question because my crafting actually went down. And I wondered if I can attach this ball of wool to a dragonstone ammy. Okay, I thought it was gonna require me level 80 crafting or something. Three amulet of glory is charged. You know, I'm gonna be a lazy guy. I'm gonna just... Uh just gonna use the Dragonstone Charged Jewelry, because where, where else are you gonna use it, you know? It's, it's just when, whenever you feel like you're lazy. But here we go, Amulet of Glories charged in here. Even the play cows have the Santa hats on them. Okay, let's do this clue scroll. I'm still not used to using my rune crossbow. I'm still using a bow and I should have taken the rune, but this may be actually the... No, it's still not the last one. 
And you got to be fucking kidding me because the requirement is rune boots, which is 75 slayer minimum. Thank you for watching this video though. And if you thought that, you know, nothing much happened in this video, all I did was just make an amulet of glory. Well, that is the nature of Iron Man. That, that's what you kind of sign up when you're making videos on an Iron Man. Sometimes there will be videos where nothing much happens. I mean, look, I spent like good three days now making this video like I was buying mithril ores I was making them into bars I was smelting them into dart tips then I had to attach all of them then I had to get my crafting up meaning craft 6,000 cosmic runes make all of them you know those charge the the orbs and all of that the, the, that's like one minute of video footage you know so you have to improvise you kind of have to expand Anyway, I thought it was a decent video. Shut up, okay? Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.